To install WordPress automatically, using the automatic installer called Quick Install, log into your hosting control panel. Then scroll down to the software area, find the Quick Install link, and click on it. Now on the left, from the list of site software, choose WordPress. You can ignore all the other options. You don't need to pay extra for anything at this point. Now, click the Install WordPress button. That will cause an area to appear where you will tell the installer exactly where you want it installed. If you have multiple domains on this hosting account, they will be available in this dropdown. If your domain name is dedicated to your site, then you can just select your desired domain name without putting anything into the box at the right. Of course, if you have a site at that domain name already, you'll want to deal with that first. You can move it to another folder on your server, or you can remove it altogether. If you have questions about that, you can talk to your host. If you already have a website at your main domain name that you want to keep, and are adding your WordPress site to a subdirectory of that domain, write the name of the directory you want it installed into. This could be blog, journal, WordPress, really whatever you like, but most people who are installing in a subdirectory choose blog. Enter your administrator email address and your blog title. Both of these can be easily changed later on in WordPress. Then choose an administrator username. The installer will automatically create your password, which it will give to you later on. Your password can be changed as often as you like in WordPress. Then click the button to install WordPress. You'll notice a progress bar for the installation at the top of the page. And again, you can ignore any themes or services that the host tries to sell you. You've already purchased Profoto as your theme, so you're all set. You'll be notified when the installation is complete. Clicking the notification at the top will show you your username and password, and the link at which you will log in to WordPress. It's a good idea to write these down or record them somewhere where you can reference them when you forget them. To log in to this new WordPress installation, click the admin URL, and then there, enter your username and password. After this, it'll be time to install Profoto.